evening TikTok. Today I want to talk about letting something go. You you want to have so much stuff that you deal with that is going to require for you to let it go, especially if it's something that's keeping you stagnant and it's something that's holding you back. And I was thinking like, I'm like, what what does truly letting something go looks like? And you know, I always try to analyze, I think about stuff and try to put it together to make it make sense because I'm a very logical, analytical person. That's just who I am. So I was like, hmm, let me think. When you let something go, you can then focus on yourself purely. Because usually, think about it. Usually, when you don't let something go, normally the something that you just can't let go you focus like you putting all your energy and then some on the issue that you holding on to but if you let it go guess what you're doing you focusing on yourself you're doing things for yourself you're not bothered you still having fun you still living you still like you're not bothered that's what letting something go looks like you know what they say and especially if that something is a person if that something is a person that you have to let go and sometimes we whatever the person did can really cause us like man I should get that mother sucker I should flatten all four of his tires I should put some mother sucking sugar in it. I don't know but don't do that the best revenge is to live your best life the best revenge is to show that you're not affected no matter what they did the best revenge is to still be smiling the best revenge is to live your best life. But see, another thing that I realized too that can keep people holding on to stuff is because you're not happy with yourself and you're not happy with your life. So it's easy to say the best revenge is to live your best life. But some people are like, well, my life is crap right now. I don't have nothing to say live my... Well, make it into existence. Manifest. You have to find that inner peace in that inner happiness and part of finding your inner peace and inner happiness is first of all getting to know who you are and part of getting to know who you are is getting to know what you like getting to know what you dislike you know your value and you know your standards get a piece of paper write out all of that and then once you really get that embedded into you then is when you can start living your best life and then you can let stuff go and then you can focus on yourself instead of focusing on the problem so let's move forward and let it go i am i'm done i'm done with it